If you want to open packs or own a team like this, then go and get your coins from UT Coins for You down in the description. An instant automated coin delivery service and use code CAPGUN for 5% off at checkout. You right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to episode number 45 of the Rota Royale. Now let's kick this one off by going into our trade pile. As you can see, we've sold most of our players. There are two that haven't sold and that's the international man of the match, Sanchez, and the team of the year, Danny Alves. We're currently sitting on 2.331 million coins. Um, once those two players sell, we should be looking about 3.5 million coins, so that's not bad at all. You can see that we're currently in Division 1. We're in a bit of a sticky spot. We got to get two points from our three remaining games otherwise we're getting relegated and I don't want to get relegated because well that's not how I roll anyway you can see the team it's looking pretty good same as always um, you know we bought Tots Modric, Modric a couple of episodes ago so if you did miss that feel free to go back and watch it um, also the team we're coming up against look at that so many team of the seasons has got record breaker closer in there Tots Royce Tots Candreva Tots Pogba Tots De Rossi international man of the match Schweinsteigel just ridiculous team absolutely ridiculous but we take the lead in fantastic fashion. Look at that goal from Fabio Coentrao. I did not know he could shoot like that. Look at it. Boom. Buffon got absolutely nowhere near it. Into the top left-hand corner of the net. And, uh, yeah, that was really good. Unfortunately, I can't say that there was anything good about this performance from Casillas and Pepe. Um, obviously, Pepe, oh, Casillas comes to the edge of the box. I don't know why he decides to chest that. Why didn't you just catch it? You're on the edge of your box. You could quite happily catch it. I wasn't pulling him out or anything. So, um yeah, I don't know what happened, and then Pepe just didn't have the time to adjust his feet, and we end up conceding. Um, so, yeah, I feel a little bit cheated in this game. As you can see, we end up going 3-2 uh, down, um, mainly because I was in no mood to play the game after Casillas was doing that sort of rubbish. Fortunately, Pepe managed to make something back for his mistake earlier on, and uh, he managed to equalise in the final minutes to give us a draw. But, really, we should have been walking away with, uh, well, potentially the full three points. Uh, one point, though, isn't a disaster, and it could be really important because now all we need to do is get one point from our two remaining draw or games, which means just one draw, and we will be in safety. Now, I decided to go and make a whole load of signings because, obviously, there's a load of transfer players to Real Madrid. So we are going to be trying to pick up all of those players. First off, we picked up a Keylor Navas, um, who I'm actually going to try out in goal because Casillas is playing so badly. I thought, you know what? Let's give it a try. Let's give him a go. See how he does. So uh, Navas was the first one picked up. We're also picking up this guy, William Jose, for a ludicrous price of 3,300 coins when he looks absolutely rubbish. Don't think he'll ever get a chance to play, but obviously if we want to have the uh, full road to Real team sort of completed, we are going to need to buy them. Uh, we bought Ced or was it, was it Cedric or Derek? Derek, the uh, centre-back. Um, we picked him up for 200 coins. We also put a bid on uh, Rodriguez as well. So uh, hopefully Rodriguez will be picked up for like 400 coins I think I bid on him uh, if not I'll just go and buy one off the market but you can see there we put all three of them in our team and we can give them all the check mark on the checklist also sorry it wasn't um, Rodriguez it's Fernandez, the uh, left mid bronze who we haven't got yet so he's the only one we haven't got out of the new transfers anyway you can see they've made a bit of a change we put Kalos Navas in goal so you're going to give him a chance and uh, do you think it's going to work out well we'll have to wait and see the team we're coming up against standard Serie A 4 one 2 one 2 Team looks pretty dangerous. Pop was in there, you know, Mario Gomez, etc., etc. And yeah, there you go. Like, immediately, I think I realised I'd made a mistake. Um, playing a silver goalkeeper against gold players is just not really a good idea. Um, and it's just not viable to play Kilo Navas. He just did nothing for me, literally nothing. Like, there were chances that he should have saved. I'm pretty sure he should have saved that one. He should have saved the one that was the first goal from outside the box. Um, you can see here that we do actually manage to make it 3-2 with Ronaldo, so we were back in it. But seconds later, again, look, that that potentially could be a save there. I'd say that uh, with a player like Neuer, you're looking at that save three out of four times, so I don't know. But, yeah, it, just, it was just not viable to play Kilon Navas, and we end up paying the price. We end up losing 5-3, and that leaves us with only one game to actually get that one point that we need. So we're really on the fence here, and... Uh, Honestly, I thought that we deserved to win that game because we had the same number of chances as him. Well, maybe not win it, but maybe draw it at the very least. And you can see that have gone away and picked up Enzo Fernanza Fernandez, so that's good as well. He gets a check mark on the checklist. That's all of the uh, bronze and silver column done. Um, we've also got the uh, the you know inform column, the man of the match column, and the team of the season column to complete. So we're still not there, but hopefully we will be making some sort of inroad into those players as well. So here we go. We're not doing any trading today because we're still trying to sell that Dani Alves and the Sanchez. Um, 
So I'm going to just go into the final game and uh, we come up against this 4-2-3-1 uh, th team. He's got Messi up front, he's got uh, Neymar in there as well. And we started off really, really well because we managed to take the lead. I was like, yes, that's exactly what we need. We need points here, so a lead is exactly what I need. But seconds after I scored, look at this. What on earth? How? Why? Why? Why does this always happen? And then like, yeah, look, my goalkeeper's on the floor this time. I was using Diego Lopez in this game. It gets tripped up somewhere along the line and yeah. We end up going 2-1 down. Then Modric doesn't even challenge for that header. Why he doesn't even challenge, I don't know. But it ends up costing us again. We're now 3-1 down and that's pretty much game over. Sergio Ramos versus Neymar. Sergio Ramos just gets pushed off like there's no problem. Yeah, I just felt really cheesed by the game. Just nothing was going my way. We did manage to grab one back, but it was way too little, too late. And you know what that means. Consolation goal. A loss. And we are getting relegated from Division 1. For the first time in this club's history, we are going to be going down a division. We are in Division 2 for next episode. But hopefully that will be a good thing because I haven't been playing all that well. I need to change the squad up. I want to play against some easier opponents, get my confidence back. And hopefully by going into Division 2, we'll be able to do that. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. You know, we did make four signing, which is the first time we've ever done that in this series. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Make sure you like it if you have. And uh, yeah, I'll stop talking and I will see you all next time.